can can you please say light camera action <laughs> it is my immense pleasure to have ken ghosh one of the leading directors of bollywood as my guest he is supremely talented he is not only a director but also a producer and a scriptwriter he has directed some of the top stars of bollywood like kareena kapoor khan pardeen khan amrita rao rahul bose and akshay khanna and this year has already started on a high note for the brilliant director he's won the prestigious dada sahab phalke international film festival awards for best director for state of siege temple attack what a brilliant movie and you watching ruchi singh talks and the star of today's show is none other than the ken khosh thank you so much ken thank you so much for coming on my show my pleasure my pleasure ruchi can can you please say uh, light camera action <laughs> you know something nowadays uh, it's a new system the director doesn't actually say it it's the Ooh. first ad that says it all right so all the director says is cut i i, I know that's the thing people feel that the director says light sound camera action yes it doesn't it doesn't work like that i'll tell you how it works so lights are on much before in the earlier days the lights the light bulb you couldn't keep it on to long because it heated up and you know mm-hmm. it's well it didn't explode but started the bursting so you had to put the lights on at the last possible moment okay, okay? but but in today's with today's technology where there are cool lights and things like that so the light is on for hmm. a long 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 time so the okay. lights don't come on before okay hmm. uh is the first ad who actually starts by saying sound you first hold sound sound okay. camera okay the sound director the sound recordist says rolling okay okay then the camera attendant rolls the camera hmm okay he says clap okay and the first the assistant ad the clapper boy gives the clap okay he moves out of frame and then the first ad says action okay 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 so i me as a director i don't even say action i am watching the shot when the shot gets over sometimes if i want to cut the shot before i'll say cut hmm or if if, if the shot goes on fine and everything is fine then is the first ad who says cut okay so me as a director i'm not actually sometimes i'm not even saying anything <laughs> ah you're like the silent boss you know supervising yeah, everything like god <laughs> Okay. Just wanted a little update to this whole. Uh, I mean, it's a very old thing that people that directors say: light, sound, camera, action. Today, the director says nothing. <laughs> See, that's what like uh, people like us, lay people, we have no idea. All we do is just stay up and watch the movies. But <laughs> thank you so much for coming to my show, and I'm genuinely like I, I shared you. with you. I'm so excited to have you. and congratulations on the huge success of state of sea oh, temple attack thank you thank you very much it was a brilliant movie in fact last night i checked it has an imdb rating of 8.1 which is brilliant absolutely oh, brilliant i loved it like i think rest of india and it touched a special chord you know because i'm a foji brat army brat so yes yeah, my father was in the navy too so oh also, so we are like yeah. this bomb yeah, yeah. we are like foji <laughs> brats so you know the whole reason i i requested you to come in the show was go about the linkedin project i'm doing right and we live in an increasingly disruptive world and reinventing ourselves professionally is what gives us a competitive edge to stand out and succeed and you are a big success as well in one of the most competitive industries in the world uh, as far as movie industry goes everything is new like every project everything is new right so uh, how have you managed to be a huge success even after 35 years like is there a process in reinventing yourself oh uh, wow that's see i don't i mean i don't know what i have been doing to myself to constantly reinvent myself i think it's just about um, being in touch with what's new so i've always had that passion that uh, i want to know what's new in technology what's new in films what's new in writing what's on uh, you know i mean what is new and trying to learn about it that is one two is um, okay one very important ability is um, see we as filmmakers and 
because of the nature of the industry we are in, we sometimes get carried away and we think that whatever we're doing is the best. Uh, I am the opposite. I hate everything I do. Okay. <laughs> I'm constantly very extra. Sometimes it's a little too much. I must note. Uh, I'm very critical of what I do. Yes. You know, yeah. so I don't live in the past. Hmm. There are filmmakers I know who look back at their work and they're looking at it and like, wow, you know, <laughs> what I've shot is, you know, and I hate it. I can't look at my work. Once I've finished it, I mean, there's that initial love period, you know, while I'm making it and when it's released and then after it's released and then I start hating it bit by bit because I look at all the mistakes and I say, yeah, I wish I'd, I, this wasn't done like this. I wish I'd read on this and things like that. So, so uh, there's this constant uh, need to improve oneself and uh, shoot things better and find new ways to shoot things and your new ways to uh, to because like LinkedIn is it's about communicating. What we are doing as filmmakers is we're communicating. We're yeah. communicating a story to you. You know. Yeah. So uh, finding new ways of telling the same thing because. Uh, they, they say, there's a saying that there are seven stories in the world and all stories are variations of those stories. Yeah. You know? So at the end, sometimes it's very difficult to find some something that's totally fresh and totally new. But then maybe you can find a fresh new way of telling the same story. Yes, yes. You know, yeah. Which is more relevant to today. You know, mm. uh, so yeah, so that's what uh, one is constantly, I'm constantly looking for. I'm so glad you shared these things because this is what uh, I also, when I'm mentoring people, one is uh, you, uh, you constantly learning. So you're not stagnant, right? And the curiosity is a very important thing. Curiosity very to important. know, learn. So now, like you said, and you're not looking back, of course, you've learned and uh, in your case, maybe proud, not proud, but you've moved on, learned from it and you're moving to new pastures. And that is yeah. very critical for growth and growth leads to success, right? The moment yeah. you stagnate, you're dead. And uh, the other point, which I really appreciated was you saying this, like you are constantly looking at your work, the past work and trying to improve on it. And that again is a very critical aspect of uh, learning and growing and uh, that's how growth happens mm -hmm. because if you're like sab kar liya, sab aata hai, nothing is going to happen you're not going to listen to new ideas so I'm so glad that uh, what what I personally believe in and I've been sharing and mentoring people is what a creative guy a director in the Bollywood industry believes so so I would love to know your story like what led you to this field what was the biggest challenge you faced and anything else which will just add to our knowledge uh, I'm 55 I've been in the industry now 35 odd years I started working at the wow. age of 18 19 generally people have a tough time starting yes my this time was actually about eight nine years ago okay. 2010 11. Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. it was the toughest time so okay. start was easy mm -hmm. maintenance was tougher mm -hmm. and uh, then again you know getting back into uh, the uh -huh. scheme of things like they say sometimes uh you with with businessmen they say the first million is tough but the next hundred is even tougher <laughs> yes. You know, so uh, that's possibly my story. Well, I started, actually, I, I had no idea what was going to happen, how things were going to happen. I think I was uh, blessed by somebody up there because everything just flowed one after the other. I started as a dancer. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So, in fact, uh, Farah Khan, Arshad Barsi, Akbar Sami, the DJ, a uh, lot of people, we were all dancers together. We had our own dance group oh. in Bandra and Juhu. We used to live and uh, we used to do little shows and perform and things like that. And uh, one thing led to the other, and uh, I uh, became a choreographer for small things and then became an assistant cameraman, then became an assistant editor, and then moved on and got my break as a director and then became a producer director, right? Mm -hmm. So one thing led to the other and 
I started with music videos. Um, I don't know if you remember back in the day in the in the nineties. I mean, I'd done. Tell me, I'm, like I'm I remember like your movie Ishkwish. It was so cute. No, that is that is much later in life. That's the second. According for me, that's my second innings. Ishkwish okay. and feature films. You know, I say my first innings was music videos. I know like, that's what a lot of people now won't remember. Probably the nineties and. The I, I pioneered music videos in this country. Oh, so wow. whether it was the uh, you know the first Hindi music video, which is Baba Sagal, Dalair yes. Mehndi, Made oh in India, Afreen, uh, Shan and Sagarika, Asha Bosle. I did the, all of them. That's like so, brilliant, brilliant. How did I not know this? Okay, so yes, I should so have added I, even more. You know, supremely talented, not just <laughs> no, no, not nothing like that. <laughs> It's just that, uh, well, I, you know what? I, I think more than creativity, though, in a sense, creativity as such is important. Uh, you need to have a lot more common sense. Yes. And uh, I think I was a lot more street smarter, common sense, along with a decent amount of creativity. Uh, that's what, mm -hmm. you know, kept me going in the music video world. Uh, which just, which first started everything. I mean, I got my first break as, in making feature films. Is because by then I was uh, I'd already done 150 music videos, so wow. the the producer who were tips was a music company had a lot mm. more confidence that this guy can do it because he's already done yes. so many music videos and all of them hits. So his sense of music is good. So yeah, that's one. So my first phase, my first innings was music videos, and then moved to feature films. Uh, there again, my first feature was did quite well with and launched uh, Shahid and Amrita and Shenaz Ishquish, in, oh, yeah. Ishquish uh, which and now uh, they just announced uh, that they started filming for the sequel well not the sequel it's part two Ishquish okay. uh, so are you part of rebound. it no no I'm not part of it I'd like to uh, you know move on to other things uh, like State of Siege oh yes brilliant and, stuff. Uh, the other brilliant stuff. so so it's it's good uh, fun that uh, 35 years later, uh, which, you know, it's, I mean, it, it, it's a tough line. It's a tough job. Very and nice. um, this industry actually, you know, it sort of, especially creatively, there's a constant where the old gives way to the new. Churning. You know? Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and it's, youth is a very important part of being in the film industry, mm -hmm. you know. 35 years later, still working mm. is, is, I think for me, is, is, is a good thing. Yeah, and it's not just still working. You're being humble. You just won the uh, Best Director Award. And yeah. an IMDb rating of 8.1 is huge. See, you look at it from your angle. So I tell you, from a, from a viewer point of view, so how do I choose what I want to watch? Because I also, you know, we all have a busy uh, life and we choose... Yeah okay, I will watch this or not watch this, right? So one of the ways is I go on IMDb and check the rating. And if the rating oh, is okay. bad, then I will mm. not watch it. Oh. So 8.1 is brilliant and I had loved it. it. It is up to you to bring out all that talent. So congratulations again. I want to ask you, as a director, there are millions of stories, right? Now, how do you decide that, okay, this is a movie-worthy story? So, so there are a lot of factors to that. Filmmaking, the filmmaking process for me is a process of making a lot of mistakes. Hmm. Okay. The fewer mistakes you make at the end of the product, when your film is ready, the yeah. better it is. Okay. Yeah. There's no, no film that's perfect. Every hmm. film, as per, I'm talking about from the director's point of view. Okay. There are a hundred mistakes. The first couple of mistakes to be made is, yes, in choosing there are a lot of scripts. One is, can this script be made? Will people come to watch this movie once it's made? Can I? Can this film be made in a budget, in the correct budget? Now, when mm -hmm. I say a budget, I don't mean small budget, the correct budget. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, and most important is, can I? will I be able to get actors and stars to come in and act in this film? Okay. Okay. Yeah. These are the main things. So the script, the budget, and the star cast, mm -hmm. you know, are the most important thing. In fact, today, nowadays with uh, OTT, 
and I am now just a hundred percent into anything that's on the web only. Oh, yes. I mean, I, I'm 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 not interested in making uh, feature films for the for the theater uh, unless unless it's 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 a really huge humongous uh, project. And this I've been saying for the last four or five years, so it's not now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, yeah. So now there are a lot of scripts that are not feature film scripts. Hmm. You know, they are not theatrical scripts. They go hmm. for OTT. Okay. You know, and so you got to understand that what the zone of every script is. That I suppose comes with uh, experience, and you know, you need to have watched a lot of other films. Uh, yeah. That's why people coming into this uh, to the industry when people come to work you know want to work with me my first question is which is the last film you watch you know yes. and you need to be a student of cinema you know hmm. you need to be crazy and passionate and constantly just watching stuff uh, yes. otherwise uh, you know i mean you you can't get into this it's not your passion so you need hmm. to be um, aware of what else is happening and what people are doing and how they're doing it Mm -hmm. uh, so that that's a very important part of uh, being in the film industry. I uh, mentor a lot of people on communication and branding and all that. And there has to be substance because uh, style with without substance means nothing. But after you have substance, you still have to break through the clutter. One of the aspects uh, when creating the whole branding process is having a story, personal branding. So that is why I was keen if uh, you had certain elements like, okay, a story has to have these elements and then only it will succeed, whether in a web format. Now, what, what you're asking now, what you're asking for is a formula. Yes. And that <laughs> never works. There is okay. no formula in filmmaking. First of all, first of all, let me tell you, in filmmaking, there's no correct answer. Hmm. Okay? Yes. Uh, I might make a film in one particular way, that same script you give to another director, he'll make it another way. Yes. So it's not that I'm right and he's wrong. It's just that how many people are we able to connect to? Yes. Okay, of yes. course. The, the emotional the connection. There's the there's a commercial element to it. Uh, how many people are you able to connect to who are willing to put in X the amount money. of rupees to watch that? Yes. You know? yeah. so that in that way, that makes one version correct and another version incorrect. But uh, there's there's no right and wrong. So when it mm -hmm. comes to a script, uh, I mean you can't use you know what's worked before because you have to constantly look ahead. Remember one thing, if you're reading a script now, if it's a feature film or a web series, even if it's if you're the fastest person in the world, it's at least a year before it's going to be out. Yes. So you have to think a year ahead. Sometimes mm. two, sometimes three, sometimes longer. So you can't say, oh, okay, I just watched this movie and uh, action movies, action period movies are doing well. So mm -hmm. this is an action period film script. Okay, great. This will work. Because by the time that comes, your script comes out, I mean, it could be dated or people will be fed up and saying, you know, yeah. I've seen this already. Why are you showing me the same thing? So I look for something that is fresh, new, uh, because I get bored very easily. And I feel that uh, I would want to watch it and or people would want to watch it. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you so much. So actually, you have brought out a lot of things like, you know, first, it has to connect emotionally because uh, uh, we buy, uh, we think we buy, you know, with our brains, but there's a lot of research which shows that we buy, our buying decisions are always emotional. Mm -hmm. And then we try to justify it. And also, yeah. it has to be commercially viable. You know, no, the product yes. we're making, the product we're making is an emotion. So yes. It's not a physical product, you know, which you can touch and feel and, yes. you know, you can reuse again or it'll take you somewhere or it'll, you know, you can eat it. It's, it's no. an emotion you're going to feel. So yes. uh, yes. got to, it's got to work that way. Yes. Yeah. Yours is uh, like the perfect balance. You know, people talk a lot about right brain and left brain. You guys are doing that day in, day out. It's a perfect balance of being super creative and then also put on that investment kind of uh, head exactly. and like 
will it make money or it's a, just like a fun question you i'm sure you you're getting a lot of writers pitching their story to you right so what has been the best or the most uh, interesting pitch ever made to you so well there are a couple of scripts uh, which came my way and uh, which i wanted to make uh, there, there was at one point uh, imtiaz ali uh, had written uh, a script and that script was floating around and came to me and i read it and i still remember it was called geet geet and uh, geet hmm which is the name of uh, karina's character in in oh, jabbi met jabbi met oh such a cute movie i loved it and i, I read it and there were very few scripts i mean one, that was one script which i said wow I, i want to do this and i went back to the producer that time and well not the producer it had come to a lot of producers and they said uh, no he's he's the writers going to be directing it himself oh, nice. and uh, so you know they were that that was a very interesting script i still have that script somewhere around i think yes yes and that the unique part of that movie is if i'm not wrong that uh, actually a, a hollywood movie got made on this uh, theme you know they took permission and they made the movie i think the it was called the leap year i think that's the story behind it no i think leap year was before that Yes, could be. If could I'm be. Not, or maybe walk in the clouds. No, walk in the clouds. No, no, walk. That and the... Yes, walk in the clouds was much before that. I yeah. think for kids so or in college. Room, but but you know what? Jab we met wasn't about walk in the clouds or leap year. It touched, you know. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. touched on a personal level, and that's what uh, any script. Like coming back to your question is, when I read a script, it needs to connect. You know, I need to be able to see it immediately. Yes. Uh, i'm not saying that every uh, i mean sometimes i can read a script and say yes it's going to do very well but i'm not interested in doing this because i've already done this space i've done this genre and uh, it doesn't connect not... somewhere yeah no i see um, over the years maybe because i'm at this stage of my career see i realize one thing you have no guarantee you have no control over whether the film is going to do well or not yes but it's going to be is going to take a year year and a half of your life so at least the process should be fun you know yes. because it's really you know rubbish to have gone through hell for a year and a half mm-hmm. making the product and then the product comes out and it doesn't do well also oh it must be yeah. heartbreaking i can say i had fun doing this film or this web series and uh, yeah it was good fun to have done it it might not have done well or it may or may not have done well but at least i had fun doing it yes that's that's very important okay so uh, what is your advice to all the budding directors and content creators because not all of us will have the knowledge and expertise to make a movie but like so many creators you know so what is your advice to them so first of all ask yourself and answer this very honestly are you genuinely a fan of cinema when i say cinema i don't mean only feature film it could be web could be advertising whatever it is are you a genuinely a fan and passionate about it others don't get don't get carried away with the the glamour because it's really hard work and if you are not passionate about it you will come down to earth like really fast so first of all you need to be passionate and and in love with cinema uh that is one uh two is um yeah keep the creativity and things like that but uh, be realistic about how you're going to execute it because you might have the best ideas in your mind or on paper mm-hmm. and very often that's where it's going to stay in your mind or on paper it'll never make it to the screen so mm-hmm. uh, be realistic uh, understand the your own pros and cons and pros and cons of what you're writing is very often i mean just recently another friend of mine gave me a script for the fifth time and he was like no trust me it's really good and i read it and i said no it's very dated you know and then i think it was after years that he had to come to terms with the fact that listen i've spent so many years of my life writing it but it's probably not going to be made because yes. i am too attached to it you know hmm. so you got to be able to step back and analyze your own work and that's very important All right thank you so much that was such a wise advice and uh, can i quickly ask you one last question 
Sure, sure, sure. Yes. So can you give us a sneak peek into your creative process, like right from ideation to execution? See, there isn't a, a, a process. I mean, uh, I might hear about saying uh, something or a news article or, or a film that I see or a book that I read might trigger a thought process. Sometimes it's it's not even a story. It's it's a moment that triggers off a process of uh, just look at it like like a jigsaw puzzle that you're making. Mm -hmm. That you know you have one piece in, which is somewhere in the center. Yeah. And as you start connecting the pieces around it, it all sort of forms, and that's mm -hmm. how you have a jigsaw puzzle formed of what the script is. And then it's it's a process of uh, you know, uh, getting star cast and getting funding uh, for it, and then eventually getting it made. All right, all right. I have a few more questions. What was one movie you wish that you had made? I wish I had made. Oh, oh my, then okay. Let me. No, I wouldn't say wish I had made. I'll tell you movies that I've loved and I've watched again and again. Saving Private Ryan is one of them. Oh yeah. Uh, because I'm a huge. Uh, World War II. What freak. are you saying? I'm a history yeah. of nerds and I love it. Have you and, read Rise and I mean, Fall of the Third Reich? Yeah, sorry? Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. The book you're talking about? Or yes, the movie? yes, yes, the book. No, so, so, okay, I have got, I've got another problem which is a little weird is I've got ADHD. So, it's very ah. difficult for me to read. Okay. You know? uh, so, Saving Private Ryan, um, just to mix it up, I'll say Three Idiots. I love that film. A lot of series that I've loved. So, uh, the Game of Thrones, just loved that. Very, weird. I mean, all over the place. Yeah, I think that's how it is for most of us. And, yeah. um, you know, if you had to describe yourself in just three words, what would that be? Three words. Uh, curious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all, it'll all end up around that. Curious, greedy for more. Uh, which is also in a way curious. Super I, know I like to have creative. fun. Yeah, I like to have fun. No, I don't. I wouldn't call myself super creative. I'm not. I've I've interacted with a lot of creative people, and uh, I look at them and say I'm not that guy, and because I'm I'm, uh, you know, creative people are, they get very passionate and too passionate about what they're doing and how they're doing, and I'm a <laughs> lot more chilled out. I okay, can't mm -hmm. happen. Fine, That's no, fair. can't happen. It's okay. Let's move on. So, I, okay, I, I put it this way. I'm very practical, quite a, a, a realist, sometimes maybe a little cynical because I'm a little too critical of what I do. Uh, yes, and sometimes it, we should let it go, you know, calm down. And it's not that bad. It's bad. It might not be great, but it's not that bad. I can relate to the last one. I'm very critical of my work. Like, I've not made movies, but whatever I do. And what can we look forward to? Please tell me you're making something as brilliant as, uh, you know. Oh, I, uh, well, right now, you know what? In the industry, uh, there's a saying, I mean, there's a saying outside that man proposes and God disposes. Yes. Yes. In the film industry, that happens every day, you know. So, yes. uh, right now, there's nothing that's, you know, happening. Uh Generally, I, I say that things are confirmed only uh, after you finish shooting and you're in the final stages and it's going to release now because there are a hundred conversations yeah. one has, one has and none of them happen. So right now, yeah. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Yes, but uh, I'm looking forward to it and I'm sure it will be brilliant. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking our time. I know you're a very busy person, but you graciously agreed to it. So I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you're you welcome. Thank you so much. So this is Ruchi Singh signing off for now. But do come back because I will be getting more such esteemed guests who will enrich my life and your life with their knowledge and experience. Thank you. Bye.